Hello again. Uh, I said I'd try doing a uh, a video about my favourite thing at the moment, uh, sake. Yeah. Um, yeah. I said I'd do it when I got mine in, and um, I have finally got in two new types. This is called Oziki Kara Kara Taba. Kara Tanba. I'll get the name right one day. It's uh it's a very nice bottle. Uh lots of information. Large bottle of Karatamba sake is a Honjozu grade sake, which means that it is good standard sake made with rice water, koji mold and a very small amount of pure distilled alcohol. Various alcohol to help extract the natural flavours and aroma. It is a popular alcohol, um as it is light, mild Mild, fragrant, and easy to drink dry sake at 15-16% alcohol. That's quite a bit. <laughs> uh, sake is a tr traditional alcoholic drink of Japan. It's strong rice wine and can be drunk hot or cold. Recommended hot. So much better. Uh, it's made from polished uh, sake rice, which is then fermented. The more polished the rice and the more rice used more refined and aromatic the sake. It is a social drink poured into short cups uh, enjoyed with nibbles of or Japanese dishes and like wine different sakes match different types of food. Sakes come sake comes in many uh, qualities from ring pool containers made for one to expensive was it decades old sake Distilled in traditional wooden barrels. That's a lot. But as that's me just reading the information. Me personally, I'd, I'd say I really like this one. It's got a very nice taste. It's not too strong. You know, you'd obviously need something to eat. You know, like like it says, some nibbles or snacks. But it's got a nice taste to it. I wouldn't say fruity, but sort of. Got a little bit of a. Oh, I can't even describe it. I'm gonna to need to learn some words. It's got a kick. But then, it's icky dry. Now I've got a big bottle. I'll show you really. Show this one makes me like less of an alcoholic. It's a very nice one. It's dry, so you know, like dry wine. It hasn't really got much of a taste. Well, it hasn't got much of a. It's dry. <laughs> if if you know alcohol and you know wine, then you'll understand what I mean. If not, and you're just interested, it's a very nice one to get started on. Uh, this is a table, well, a table sake. So this would be something you'd have during a meal or during snacks, that sort of thing. Uh, it's about 14.5%, which is um, it's a good amount. You know, sort of. You you won't want to drink loads of it. It would, you know, get to you sooner or later. But it's good still. I like it. But then, if you are interested in um, having sake and you haven't quite got one of these, <laughs> I'm not exactly saying that this is good or any better than a normal cup. But it's it's actually kind of fun to use. It's it's simple, right? It's just a cup. And that's it. It's, it's it's just a cup. But it's, you know, you can imagine if you were out with your mates and you handed them one of these, they're going to think, how oh, you drink out of that? It's like, no. Oh. It's got a little... Yeah. It's, it's got a taste to it, but it's... No, it's nice. Yeah, I like it. Oh well. So, uh, that's been me doing a random video. How am I doing it? My next one might involve a violin. I can probably promise you that. But, uh, until then. I don't know. Put a comment, ask me a question. Um, 
at most I can recommend a good site to uh, go to. Uh, you know, some good prices, I could say so. This bottle, which is uh, 750 milliliters, uh, I got that for about well, 670. That's a good price. I'll uh, it's down here. I'll put um, links in the bar description. Comment, rate, whatever, do what you want. And now I'm not bothered. But hopefully I'll see you again. And hopefully one day. Gunpai.